How's it going, everyone? Liam Caddison here. We're on episode number eight of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is called The Dark Age, which is a very promising title. Um, but hopefully it's going to be a promising episode because these last two episodes have definitely been beyond promising. They have been incredible stuff, uh, which kind of atones for the slower episodes four and five. But um yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Halloween and Lie to Me. Lie to Me in particular was pretty moving, uh, built a lot of story, and yeah, it was just exciting overall. And I'm loving what this season is doing for the characters. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to go into more season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer because um, yeah, I've I've just been loving this entire journey so far. I mean, I can, I I've I've probably said it a billion times by now but i am really appreciating um this entire story not just season two but season one uh and the characters you're getting to love them more so yeah but uh, i'm very curious to see what the dark age is all about um but yeah with that said let's find out this is episode number eight of season two for buffy the vampire slayer let's go Is this like a zombie? Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, child. Must we have this noise during your calisthenics? It's not noise. <laughs> Surely he could have just headbutted her. I blame Buffy. Buffy was responsible. But then again, it's not a vampire, so it's not her problem. And the rest is silence. Literally. Time to go to sleep. Um. Well. Okay. I'm saying okay a lot, but there's a lot of things that's weirding me out. Ah. Island beaches where the waters. I'll bring the party mix. Just don't be late. Have I ever let you down? Do you want me to answer that, or shall I just glare? <laughs> what? Oh, hello, Miss uh, and uh, Jenny. Feel the passion, mm -hmm. Willow. <laughs> Coughing, not speaking. Oh, we're still on for tomorrow. Oh, What's man. What's tomorrow? I'm reviewing some computer basics. Yeah, you know how you have to, to dog ear your favorite pages so you can go back to them? Oh, uh, no, before? no, well, no. I mean, I, I practically <laughs> had to fold back every single page. So finally, I just I just started underlining all the pages I really wanted to discuss. I, I underlined? But then, of course, I spoke oh, all Oh, Giles is going to have cardiac arrest. It's a first you... edition. No, I think I'd like to stay in. Ooh. Giles. This Go Zipper! Saturday night. Let's see if I can make you squirm. I'm not even saying anything. It's totally bogus. It was a one way street. I was going one way. Cordelia! What? Why does everyone always yell my name? I'm not deaf and I can take No! A you're infuriating! What's the hint? I'll oh, come back later. Yeah, when you visited decaf land. Every, everything's about me. The tattoo. No. Wasn't he dreaming about that? Oh, I think you're bullshitting, Giles. Don't be late. Sheesh. Ooh, are, are we gonna find out what the Ripper is all about and all of that. Ooh, oh shit! Holy shit, that was a... Ah, bummer. But hey! How did you know about this? It's delivery day. Everybody knows about this. <laughs> they only ruined one... Oh, is he like the green arrow? Just right off the list until it comes to you. Ah! So, okay, so it must be. It must be like a group thing. So, you're back. Woo! 
Whoa, what was that, Ethan? You sneaky bastard! I know you. You were in that costume shop. Oh, I'm pleased you remember. It's only been you two episodes. You saw that dress for Halloween and nearly got us all killed. But you look great. Oh! Go on, Buffy. Ethan. Yep, he knows him. Oh, shit. Oh, Ethan. Go on, Cordelia. Holy shit. Um, no, no, no. You put these people in danger, the people I care about. If you cared so much about them, why didn't you leave town? Oh, shit. You've been having the dreams, I know. I have. We both know what's coming. What dreams? What is going on here? Oh, this is... Tell her, Ripper. Giles. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Oh, calendar! Now well, there's something you don't see every day. I ain't gonna be in therapy till I'm 30. Where's it? Oh, Cordelia, it's not that freaking bad compared to what Where'd you think. Where'd he go? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Uh, careful. Oh. Can you stand? Leave Jenny alone. So. Oh. This is what happens when you have school on Saturday. Oh, God's sake. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, shoot, she got whatever that thing was. Throbbing. I lost Ethan, and it must jump to the nearest dead or unconscious person to continue living. I still don't get what this has to do with Giles. I don't know about Giles, Ooh. but ancient sex used to induce possession for bacchanals and, and orgies. Okay, Giles and orgies in the same sentence. I could have lived without that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not something Today you thought you'd leave. ever so think of. has gone. There was no one dead to jump into. Unconscious. I mean, we're all not dead. Or you could take advantage of me in my weakened state. Thank you, operator. Um, There's what no the? Calendars and Giles' phone is out of order. I'm gonna go over there. This is the host Jenny, talking. Um, I'm, I'm really very attracted to you. Good. But um, now really isn't the right time. Oh, there's never been a better time. Uh, oh no. Under your skin. What the fudge? Was it good for you? Whoa, whoa, what? Oh my god, oh, that is. Stomach, but that's okay. Because I'm about to rip it out. You couldn't control it. One of us, Randall. He lost control. Came possessed. Agon took him whole. We tried to exorcise the demon from Randall. But it killed him. Oh, we he killed him. Oh. Was he worried he'd have to do the same with Jenny? We thought we I don't know how to stop it without killing Jenny. Got the guys working on it. I'll um try to contain it until we figure something. Buffy, I'm sorry. You're not a bad. You're not a bad person, Giles. No, please. Is yeah. Ladies first. You are a piece of shit. Wakey, wakey! You're missing all the fun. What fun? Your initiation. Oh no, you know come what? on. I'm not really interested in joining your club. And don't think I can't take you. Give me your best <laughs> shot. Hey! We don't have time for this. Well, hello! Our friends are in trouble. Now we have to put our heads together and, and get them out of it. And if you two aren't with me 110%, then get the hell out of my library. Holy shit! It's your time. Holy crap! This is what they were talking about when they said it will spawn from the host. Oh man. No. What the Oh I've been my waiting god. A long time to do this. 
This is my go oh shit angel Because he's oh my god okay okay Is it gonna become Oh that was genius Genius plan from Willow Or a drink when you're feeling stronger. Sure, sometime. Is... Yeah, sometime. Please let it be sometime. I better get to class. Of course. I don't think she'll ever really forgive me. Maybe she shouldn't. Maybe you should. My heart's breaking for Giles. I never wanted you to see that side of me. Go on, say it. You know you want to. <laughs> it's not music, it's just a uh, meaningless sound. There. Feel better? <laughs> yes. <thanks. laughs> oh. I love this relationship Basically so much. Well, that's music. I didn't hear that. <laughs> oh. I do love Buffy and Giles' um, relationship so much. And I do feel so bad for Giles. Like... Obviously, that darker side to him is, well, not just that darker side um, that he exposed to everyone would be a, a big concern, but also um, the whole Igon situation um, and, and, and his past just coming to kick him up the arse is going to be haunting. And I can't blame Jenny for wanting a bit of a break. Um, hopefully they will be able to patch things uh, up because Giles is, is a decent person and he is making amends for, for his past, but yeah, I, I, the damage was, um, was pretty, pretty tough to, to just sweep under the rug, isn't it? So yeah, you can't exactly blame Jenny for being a bit, mm. Okay, so another strong episode of Buffy. Really loving this season. Um, and I loved how much backstory we got of Giles. But my heart hurts with him and um, Jenny being on a bit of a break. Which I do understand given the whole um, fact that he um, showed his darker self as well as the whole icon situation. It was pretty, pretty... Um, it would be pretty, pretty devastating for Jenny. So I do hope they do end up back together. Like they, uh, business resumes uh, in a few episodes and whatnot. We'll just have to wait and see. But um, I can understand why Jenny might want some time to uh, reflect and some um, alone time after after this cuff of all. So yeah, but it was great. I'm I'm surprised we weren't left guessing um like for more than two episodes wasn't it about Giles's past and that being explored. I'm surprised they didn't go like several episodes and then oh look here we go again. Um so yeah, I'm surprised it took only a few episodes to come back. I don't think they explained what the Ripper was, but um we did get an idea of how Ethan does tie into Giles's past especially with it tying to his younger days um and i liked how this episode gave an explanation to why giles is the way he is i guess in today's uh terms mundane sophisticated pleasant quiet all of that it's like his incident where he first uh interacted with igon uh, uh, forced him to alienate his brain to be the personality who he is today because he can't stomach the past because he effectively killed someone um on accident and it like this personification um offers less haunting memories than it would with his, with his past so i loved going into his backstory and him discussing with buffy about what he even and everyone else uh in this uh club did and how dreadful it was and it was really really daunting um but yeah i'm really excited to like i'm I'm really excited for the prospect of even to return because he did get away shucks 
Um, but it was great going into Giles's past. Not just that though, but we got to see um, we got to see uncharacteristics show up in this episode, um, like him just being so um, stressed to the point where he missed that appointment with Buffy in order to um, stake out the vampires. Um, but yeah, um, I think they made a comment about um, oh he was drinking and and that, but. I don't know. I think he would have the one-off drink, but in times like this, when Igon has returned, um, I think he would down the bottle. So maybe that is why. Um, he might he might uh, have a bit of whiskey every now and again, but yeah, um, because just because he today is a quiet, uh, person who. Um, hates the music that Buffy's listening to. Doesn't mean he can have a a, a good sip now and again, but um, yeah, he he was completely out of it to, uh, in this episode. And after his like Buffy in the last episode with her past coming back, um, and well, not so much kicking her up the ass because she didn't do anything in the past, um, to upset or or do something bad to Billy. Uh, but it did impact her in the present. Uh, this was a uh, different case for Giles, where he did something in the past and it comes back to haunt him and it hurts the loved ones. So, yeah, um, I felt so bad for Giles because um, you could tell this event haunted him and he was completely um, upset with, with this whole thing returning, as well as Ethan, who he did say, what did I warn you about? But there, he showed his darker character to everyone else, and everyone was completely perplexed, because this is not a side of Giles that people have seen before. And, um, that was kind of foreshadowed in episode 6 anyways, when Giles was acting more uncharacteristic for me. So he showed that in front of everyone else because Ethan showed up and that really angered him. He 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 lost focus in the library. So I really enjoyed... Uh, I, I enjoyed going into to Giles' character because it's great to add this layer of a character who seems so mundane and boring and... Um, yeah, he he's not exactly a guy you would take to parties, and it and and we get an explanation to, um, oh, he was like this before. Something, um, something really was traumatizing back in his past, and everyone has a dark side at the end of the day, and Giles is no exception. He might be boring. He might be, um, like I said, uh, he might have that sophistication, but. He he too has that dark side as we explored in this episode. Um so yeah, it was pretty pretty um it was pretty poop to see him explain what happened in his past and how that's came about. So yeah. Um But they dealt with it, it seemed, because we had Angel. I was thinking though, like since he's a vampire um would that technically mean he's part of the dead because wasn't the rule stating uh, i think i don't know i think it um with him being who he is and what he's gone uh, and and um his his past being explained a little bit i don't know if it would have cancelled it out but uh, i i was thinking cuz they did say if it uh, if the host is unconscious or dead i think they said then uh, Igon would take control of that person. So, yeah, but um, it was great that Wi Willow was on a... She's an absolute queen. Like, she sh she gave another shout to... Uh, to um, Was it, like, in the last episode? I'm, I'm trying to think of the last episode. It was Xander and Giles, I think it was. No, it was Angel and uh, Giles in episode four, because... Um, they were both giving Buffy a hard time. Episode 5. Yeah, episode 5. Episode 4 was the mummy girl. But uh, still, Willow, she's a queen. I absolutely love her. Um, Yeah, because she not only was she the one to come up with the solution whilst Giles was losing his mind uh, and thinking this would be the end uh, um, of Jen. Not him and Jenny, but the end of Jenny's life. Um, But um, yeah, she... 
not only came up with the solution, but of course, she bollocked both Cordelia and Xander, who I thought had some great chemistry in this episode. And I really loved Cordelia's interactions uh, in the second uh, part of this episode. But Willow, oy, 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 I just love her so much. She's, you know, I feel like my love for um, for Willow is just growing more and more. So I'm really loving that. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I hope we do get to see, um, Giles and Jenny back on track soon because I do love their relationship and Jenny is a good partner for, for Giles. So fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, I thought the idea for, um, yeah, Ethan, um, being brought back in this episode was great. Um, uh, it was, yeah, it was great to see him being thrown into the mix. Um, like, it was only a couple of episodes, but it was great to see how he was tied to Giles because him and Giles had that relationship. And whilst we didn't get to find out what Ripper exactly meant, um, we did get to find out that he um, was with this club and they were getting picked off one by one. So, yeah. Um, and we also dealt with an evil that was trying to, uh, like, trying to rape a character as well, like a possessed character. So this kind of, so this does kind of remind me of the pack where we saw Xander being possessed and he tried to rape Buffy. Uh, this happening again with um, Igon uh, possessing um, Jenny, who tried to rape um, Giles. And um, yeah, it was, and also it had the glowy eyes to signify that possession like it did with the pack. Um, so there was those similarities. Uh, another similarities that I, uh, I'm thinking of was back to Prophecy Girl when, um, Giles stated that he was, uh, well, Buffy stated her concern for Giles taking on Igon and, um, Giles said this was basically my fight. Buffy was basically in the same predicament when Giles stepped up to try and take on the master rather than Buffy. Uh, of course, the uh, motivation was a lot more stronger with the prophecy stating Buffy would die and Giles was not having any of it. But um, Buffy, um, after coming to some realisation, put her foot down and said, no, I'm taking it on. So, yeah. At least Buffy didn't get knocked out by Giles when um, Giles refused Buffy's participation. But she did get knocked out by Ethan uh, for the whole tattoo situation. So there is that. But yeah, um, there were some really great moments in this episode. I just really loved going into Giles' past. Um, Willow just being a queen as usual. And uh, yeah, we had Angel sh show up as well. Like I said, he was the deus ex machina for the uh, whole uh, icon situation. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I really have to say for this episode. It was just really well done. Uh, and I loved the explanation to Giles' past. I thought it was really great to give him that bit of different character and that kind of explanation to why he is the way he is today because of his past sins and how that came to bite him up the arse, as well as to reintroduce Ethan in that mix. And uh, it seems like we might be seeing him again this season. Who knows? Um, but, of course, he had to be a sly bastard and run away when uh, all hell was was quelled, basically. Um, but it, it was, it was a brilliant episode. I just loved, um, the focus on Giles in this episode because, uh, he's an extraordinary character and just to see him go through that break in character, um, yeah, it, it was just so fascinating to go through and I really loved it. So an awesome episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!